Good morning, viewers. Once again, your friend, Reverend Dr. Medad Virunji, Jayesu, uh, the founder and president of World Shine Ministries. This week, we have been discussing finishing well. And we are discussing a man called Samson who began very well. Unfortunately, today, I am going to talk about him because of getting familiarity with God, because of getting familiarity with the anointing, because of being very successful, he failed to handle success. He failed to handle success. And I want to challenge all of you who are listening to me, how do you handle success? I pray that you not follow Samson by being so proud and so arrogant and you finish badly. So we are told that Samson, first in chapter 14 from verse 1, he tried to marry a Gentile woman. Although God empowered him with supernatural strength to begin the deliverance of the people of Israel from the Philistines, in Judges chapter 13, verse 5, it was his weakness for the Philistine women that did him damage. From chapter 14 up to chapter 16, we see that the sin of sexual immorality brought his downfall. His passion for women was more important to him than God's expressed will. And Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 3 says it very clearly. If you have a passion for women, not for God, you will lose. During his wedding to the Philistine woman, he was deceived and humiliated by his wife and wedding guests in Judges chapter 14, verse 1 to 15. So he broke the law of not marrying a Gentile. He was deceived and humiliated. And then he was angered. Samson got his revenge by personally killing 1,000 men to revenge for the humiliation he got. Judges chapter 15, verse 1 to 20. I tell you, if you run away from God, you will be deceived and you will be uh, humiliated. Secondly, the Bible says in chapter 16 from verse 1 that Samson went down to Gaza. He was not supposed to go to Gentile cities, but he went down to an enemy territory and he broke that law as well. And when he reached there, in the wrong place, he saw a harrow there and uh, he loved her and went into her, into her room. She had a muzigo somewhere. Samson was in obvious sin here. This is a clear example of how man so used to God can also sin and sin blatantly. Samson went to be used by God, but he also yielded to the deceitfulness of sin. He kept an external future of a Nazarite, but he saw the woman. He fell in love with her and went and slept with her. What a terrible thing for a man of God who was not supposed to commit sexual morality. A man of God who was not supposed to sleep with the women. A man of God who was not supposed to go to wrong places and wrong city. Now he went to the wrong place. He saw what he was not supposed to see. He ate what he was not supposed to eat because she gave him alcohol and made him drunk. Because he was drunk, he ended in her arms. I want to challenge men today who are stealing people's wives. I want to challenge women today who are stealing people's husbands that the sin of adultery and sexual immorality is a terrible curse and can go for generations. It killed Samson, a man of God. He fell from being a Nazarite to being a prostitute. Today, I challenge all those who are taking sexual sin uh, lightly. The sexual sin 
has killed this country called Uganda and has gone from every corner, every institution. It is running like wildfire. We need to think about our bodies. Our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says he will destroy. God's temple will also be destroyed. So today let's avoid wrong places. Today let's avoid wrong people. And today if you are a man, avoid a woman who is not yours. And those ladies who are stealing people's husbands, people's boyfriends, today I pray that the Lord will touch you and give you strength to fight against this calamity, this curse that is hovering around our nation. Father, in the name of Jesus, the man who served God for 20 years has now fallen into the scene of sexual immorality, a scene of alcohol. I pray, Father, for these two dangers, wine and women that has killed many ministries, killed many churches, killed many places. I pray, Lord, that you save this nation from the curse of sexual immorality and the curse of alcohol. I pray for restoration of alcoholics restoration, of prostitutes restoration, of homosexuals restoration, of all those who are committing sexual diversions. And I pray that marriages will be put together and life will come again. We give you thanks and give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>